Hello again. Well, after I left Stourport, I uh, went to my old village, Pattingham, and visited uh, a friend there. And then I decided I was going to come uh, back to the house because there were things that needed doing. And uh, I meandered my way back via Tardybig and the Tardybig flight. I'm in the hamlet of Tardybig, after which the flight of locks is named. And Tardybig has this church with the needle spire visible for miles away. Beautiful old church. And here's the canal that leads down to the first of the locks. And I always thought there were 40, but it says there are 30 locks that drop you 220 feet or 67 meters. And this is Tiny Big Wharf. Little basin there. And looking along the wharf itself. A 48 hour maximum stay visitors mooring. So if you're tired when you get to the top or you want to take a rest before you go down, that's where you can moor. I'm standing on bridge 51, looking up the flight and now looking down the flight. And there's a boat coming up. Have you come all the way from the bottom today? Yeah. I did it many, many years ago, going down, and there's a great pub with a good carberry at the bottom. Oh, the Queen's Head. And I couldn't remember the name, but yeah. yeah. We just got some takeaway beer from there, so. Yeah, some of them are really stiff. These, these aren't too bad, I fear, actually. Right. Yeah, see you. Thanks for letting me film. You're welcome. Is there a bottle of squash down there? Do you get the easy bit all the time or do you make it work oh, as well? Always, no. <laughs> <laughs> There she goes. There we go, see if it's full. Where next lock? When we did the Starport ring, we came down the flight, tiny big, and moored there for the night, and had a fabulous Carberry dinner. In the Queen's she's, she's on it. And I can assure you, by the time you get down here, you need a good meal. Before you go off down there, to Worcester. So, now it's time to get some, uh, some stuff done. Uh, I'm going to do the essentials and then in a couple of days time, set off to uh, my daughters who live near Reading 
to celebrate my 79th birthday. Uh, my wife, Mandy, she started in Scotland in her little Rome home doing the North Coast 500 run. And I told her just uh, relax, take it easy, enjoy it while you're up there because uh, she's 20 years younger than me and she still works, she's a teacher. So she has to do these things when she can. And uh, I wish her all the very best. Anyway, um, to get to my daughters, I'm going to meander my way along the Kennet Navan Canal. So uh, you'll be seeing that, I hope, if you come back and watch. But now to get things done. Mow my beard, trim the lawn, feed the greenhouse, and water the fish. And that just leaves me with a bit of ironing, a drink with my neighbours next door, a rest, and then I'm off.